Well, hello and welcome back to Zelonka. So, it is September. We can still plant canola, and we're going to do that. Someone did suggest on the comments that I do olives, and that is a absolutely fantastic idea, and it is something that I definitely want to do this series. However, I haven't got the money for it this year. So we will be doing it. But, and hopefully we'll be able to do it next year. When I say next year, I mean next harvest year. <laughs> but at the moment, we need to get canola in and we need to make canola oil. For the crisp factory. We may also have some soup to sell. So I have a look at the production. It's still going. Oh, it's storing, so it should have some outside. We'll need to get a flatbed or something to be able to do that. I don't know when the best price for soup is, but it probably is... Sometime in the winter, because it usually is. Uh, let's have a look. Potato soup. Potato soup, potato soup. Here it is. Best price is November. Worst price is September. So we need to wait a couple of months. And we will sell it all in November. It would be worth getting some sort of forklift or forklift machine. No, there we go. Uh, yep, yeah, some sort of forklift or forklift machine to be able to um, to be able to load that onto a flatbed trailer. But in the meantime, we need to get this canola into the ground. Because this is going to enable us to make the crisps, which we cannot make at the minute. That's just the way it is. Right, to stop me driving into the ditch here each time, I'm going to have to go across the bottom a couple of times, I think. Um, we are going to have to spray these fields, eventually. Why don't do them all as one go? In one go, I should say. Obviously not on the the tracks but it won't put seed in the tracks anyway so we'll just go across the bottom all in one go and then we'll come back across the bottom as well and that will save us having to go into the ditch on all three fields which is ideal there are some big stones in this field here and I do want to get them sorted at some point but I just I don't have the money at the moment, that's all. Unfortunately, it will cause some damage to the cedar. That's damage that we can fix, though. Alright. When we have got canola in all of these, the other field does need subsoiling ready for next year's potatoes. We will be doing potatoes again, although... Hmm, I need potatoes for the crisp factory, but as it's not going to have the oil until next year anyway, we might as well do one of the new crops. To get it into the super factory, we need either parsnips, beetroot, or carrots. Or a combination of the three. The harvest is the same for all of them. So there wouldn't it wouldn't be a problem at all for me to put all three into the field at, 
in different sections. Might be worth thought. I will have to get a different planter for it though, because it does require a different planter and a ridging, a ridging tool as well to get that extra fertilizer. I don't know how much it will give us in terms of fertilizer on precision farming, but it it will work. Right. I'm going to crack on and get these fields done. It shouldn't take too long. And then we will have a look at subsoiling the potato field. I used to stay up all night trying to find my place Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace To leave me out of darkness Give me a little faith Something to make me stronger Someone who could like the way Then you came to me and you gave me reason can't believe it every time we touch I feel at home there's no way I'd ever let you go when you put your hands in mine I'm gonna be alright I don't know what you do to me but I feel like I am wake up in the sky when you put your hands So that's the canola in all three fields. Didn't take too long at all. Absolutely brilliant. So the next job then is going to be subsoiling that far field. And we're going to put in some nitrogen, some, uh, what do you call it? Fertilizer, there we go. That's the word I'm looking for at the same time. So, first of all, well, we're going to need to get some fertilizer. We need to unload the seed. There we are. Right in the way there. Um, oh. Right. Let me get that put away before we do anything else because that will. Help tidy the place up. Right. Get rid of these bits. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I see. We'll just pop this over here. And get the front loader back on. Gosh, this is a faff, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to need a rear weight to move these pallets. But I've been proven wrong before. Ah, right, we're good. We're good. We need to get them in here, out of the way. Good. 
because they won't be needed again until we're planting vegetables in the spring. I didn't have any fertilizer over there, did I? No, I didn't. But we will have to go and pick some up, unfortunately. Which means spending a bit of money. But that's okay. Hopefully we'll have a lot of money coming in soon. And yes, I am aware that we still have our loan. But you have to spend money to make money. That's the uh, that's what they say. You have to spend money to make money. Right. Park that there. Alright, we need to get the rear of this thing taken off. So we can pick up the subsoil up. Really, really handy shed this is. There we go. That's that off. And then subsoil up. Okay, that's catched on the wall there. Fine. Right, now I'm going to head over to the dealership and we'll have to buy some fertiliser. I don't know how much we'll need. We'll get a, probably a couple of bags, I would think. Unless I've got... Oh, I've only got liquid fertiliser over there, haven't I? Liquid fertiliser and liquid herbicide, which is going to be needed. But, um... But I do want to get this base layer of fertiliser in as well. Which might be enough for the vegetables. I don't know. I just don't know. In fact, do I... Do I really need to get this level of fertiliser in while I'm subsoiling? Maybe. Would that be better? Better than spraying from an environmental point of view, I think. However, I do already own all this... Or fertilizer and herbicide. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, no, that's that one. So fertilizer is extremely expensive. No. Tell you what. I'm going to leave the fertilizer. We're going to take the. Uh, the cedar part off, or the the hopper off, I should say, and we're just going to go and do the subsoiling, because you can use the subsoiler as a standalone unit, you don't have to use it with this big um, hopper on the back as well. I may need a weight on the front though, which is fine, because I've got weights that I can use, I've got a weight I can use, no problem at all. But yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna use a subsoiler on its own, and then we, as we already own the liquid fertilizer, I don't want to spend any more money on fertilizer at the minute. Okay, drop that down there. This can go back in the shed. thought I might do that. Right, this can go back in the shed, he says again, hopefully. And I don't see us needing that again in any time soon because we're going to be needing a completely different planter for the vegetables. Alright, let's just pick up this weight.
That should do it. And then we need to pick up the subsoiler. There we go. Lift it up. And head off to the potato field. Then after we've done this job, we're going to have a look at maybe getting a flatbed trailer that we can tow with the case. And then we'll go and load up all the pallets of soup that we've produced so far. Obviously, we won't be selling them until December, when the price is the best. No, November it was, wasn't it? What did I decide? November. Although, having said that, look. Erlingrat's got a much better price now, but it's only going to go up. <laughs> it's got to be... Look, it's the worst price, but then the difference between the worst and the best is, a, is under 100 quid. Well. Still better to wait for the best, though, isn't it? So it looks like it doesn't actually matter too much about where you sell or when you sell the soup. Alright, let's get right over to the edge here because we we'll need the entire field done. Now this is going to take a little while because the working width isn't the best. So I might get halfway through and then decide, I'm bored, I'm going to put it on a worker. Which will be fine. Also extremely dusty so it's difficult to see that I am getting to the edge. But it looks like I have so far. I'll keep my wheels running alongside the edge then it should be fine. Because we're only slightly wider than the tractor. We're bringing up big stones again, unfortunately. We might have to invest in a stone picker. But there are some modded ones that I want to try out. And I'm not talking big unrealistic ones. I'm talking decent modded ones. Based on real life machinery. Anyway. I'm going to do as much of this as I want to and then we're going to stick it on a worker and I'll catch up with you when we go and start loading the soup. Right, I've tried to do as straight a line as possible on that last pass. So give the work the best shot that they can of getting it all done and filled in. So, what do we need to do? We don't want that one. We want this one. Because what we need to do is to go and buy a flatbed trailer. Hopefully we'll have the money for it. In fact, why don't we have a look here before we go. Anything in the... Ooh. Oh, that's a nice harvester. How much is mine worth? 44,000 and that's 25,000. Well, that would be good. Hmm. No. Let's not. Because it would probably cost the same amount to repair. Okay. 
Let's have a quick look. Where do I want bail loaders? Well, we've got the Bailey Bail trailer like we're using on survival role play. Hmm. I'm I'm sure I've got loads of other mods. Let me go and get them activated. Right, here we go then. So we've got a number of them. Um I quite like this one, although it is eleven thousand pounds. Which is a good chunk of our money. Uh we will be making a lot more money next month. We could go for something like this. Um I'd want it in new though, so six thousand pounds. If we go for this modular trailer, then we could adapt it in the future. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll go for this modular trailer. And then we will head over to the store, pick that up, and then go over to the soup factory to see what we can load up. That's taken us down to £8,725. Uh, the rest of that I'll be saving for workers. Given that this worker that I've got in the minute is going to cost us quite a bit of money because there's quite a lot still to do. I still love this tractor. <laughs> Beautiful case. Nothing against the Kubota that we picked before. But this is new and I did want to use it. Probably will end up using the Kubota in another series. At some point. So I can't use the front weight because that's on the uh, on the Massey Ferguson. Let's hope that those soup pallets aren't too heavy. If they are, we might need to come and buy another weight, which I don't really want to do. The other thing I wanted to have a look at is stone picker. So I did find this one, a de-stoner. It's got a hopper. Uh, registration left and right. Hmm. Left would be sensible for driving on the right-hand side of the road. But yes, this is the sort of thing that I want to use. It is £30,000. So we probably end up renting it to start with. Maybe. Um, but it, it definitely would be worth stone picking the field that I'm currently subsoiling it before we get the vegetables into it we shall have to see my right of way thank you very much there are the uh, the two trees in the middle of the island in the park that the all the apples go to when they're collected do need to be keeping my eye out for the apples I don't think I had a look around the um, the soup factory when we bought that. Maybe we'll have a look around it now, once we've loaded up the pallets. Also, there's got to be a couple in the uh, in this sort of housing estate. Surely. Well, we shall see. Anyway, wow! Look at the amount of soup we've produced. <laughs> I did not expect that. I thought there would be. I thought there'd be one line of four, and then plus whatever's left in the um, in the factory. But we—that's a lot. Right. Uh, leave the trailer there. Now I'm hoping that I can pick one up with this without a weight. If not, we might have to look at possibly getting um, some wheel weights or something. Maybe. Oh no, seems reasonable. Yep, yeah, seems quite stable actually, so that's good.
I did also enable a couple more um, forklift mods that I thought once we've got enough money we can afford getting a forklift over here and one, one over at the potato or crisp factory as well. But um, yeah, until then, this case will do just fine. Right. I'm going to get these loaded up. And I will see you when it's done. There we are. Potato soup. Zup zup soup. Zup zup soup. Right, so... I don't know how they got them out here because the, um... Oh, that looked bricked up. <laughs> it's just the pattern on the door. That's how they unload them, though. So, potato soup. Brilliant. Each pallet is 2,000 litres. And we've got a lot of pallets here so far. We'll chuck a couple of straps on to keep those on. But yeah, we're going to be waiting here now. Well, not waiting here, but we're going to be waiting until December to sell them. And by December, we will have a lot more produced. We've already got so many produced. And uh, yes, we've got a lot more to go still. Apple! Didn't think I'd find it straight away. 46 more to go. Well, that's paid for half the trailer. I wonder if there's another one around here anywhere. Let's have a quick look around. Try it on the boxes too. I thought that would take a little bit more looking than that, but... Nope, we found it straight away. It's a big old factory, isn't it? I'm only using a quarter of it at the minute as well. Oh. Now I've been locked out. Can I get up there? Nope. Of course not. Well, that was a decent find. Anyway. Hop over. And, yeah. Good. Right, well this all can stay here. I want to have a quick look at how much it is to rent that stone picker. You need 150 horsepower. So the Fiat could do it. Uh, with 180. Um, and it's got a 2,500 litre capacity. So... If I was to lease that, it would be £1,530 straight away. So not terrible. Not terrible at all. I think that probably is worth considering doing first thing next time. Let's have a look at how we're getting on over here. Oh dear. Not very well at all. Well, I'm going to leave the worker going, but we're going to finish the episode there for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we are ready to start making a lot of money off this soup. And if I get these vegetables in the ground and get these sorted, we will have that soup factory working overtime, which will then enable us to pay off the loan, which we still have here of 140000 and afford the um, the oil factory, which we're going to need to create the oil once the canola is ready. And the canola, well, is in the ground. So we have a uh, an entire an 
entire gestation period to wait. But by that time, we, by that time, by that time, we will have the money from the uh, the soup. I'm not going to pay all the loan back straight away, regardless. I'm going to keep enough to buy the oil factory because I want to get the crisp factory working as well. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.